live from Washington, D.C., it's theCUBE, covering AWS Public Sector Summit 2018, brought to you by Amazon Web Services and its ecosystem partners. Hey, welcome back everyone. We're here live in Washington, D.C. for Amazon Web Services Public Sector Summit. This is their big show for the public sector. It's like a mini reinvent for specifically the public sector. I'm John Furrier, your host with Stu Miniman, my co-host this segment, and Stuart McLaurin, president of the White House Historic Association, is our guest. I heard him speak last night at a private dinner for Theresa Carlson and, and their top customers. Um, great story here, Amazon's success story. But I think something more we can all relate to. Stuart, thank you for joining us and taking the time, appreciate it. Thanks, John, it's just great Okay, to so be let's jump you. into it. What's sure. your story? You work for the White House Historical Association, which means you preserve stuff or you provide well, we, access? Tell the story. Well, we have a great and largely untold story. And a part of our partnership with Amazon Web Services is to blow that open so more people know who we are and what we do and have access to the White House because it's the people's house. It doesn't belong to any one particular president. It's your house. And we were founded in 1961 by First Lady Jacqueline Kennedy, who realized that the White House needed a nonprofit, nonpartisan partner. We have no government funding whatsoever, completely private. So we fund the acquisition of art, furnishings, decorative arts for the White House. If, if a new rug is needed or new draperies are needed on the state floor or a frame needs to be regilded, we also acquire the China, the presidential and First Lady portraits that are done, we fund those. But more importantly, in my view, is our education mission that, was, that Mrs. Kennedy also started to teach and tell the stories of White House history going back to 1792 when George Washington selected that plot of land and the architect to build that house that we know today. So we unpack those stories through publications, programs, lectures, symposia, uh, and now this new multifaceted partnership with AWS. So let's talk about, it. first of all, great mission. Um, it's historic, I mean, this is, the, this is the people's house, I love that. But it's always the secret cloak and dagger kind of, what's going on in there? Right. The tours are not always, they're probably packed, the people go That's, through there, but right. the average person on the street doesn't have access. Sure, well your cable news channels handle the politics and the policy of the place. We handle the building and the history and all that's taken place there, including innovation and technology. If you think of Thomas Edison and Alexander Graham Bell and others that evolved their early technologies through the White House. About 500,000 people get a chance to go through the White House every year. And when you think about in that small space, the president and his family lives, the president and his staff work, it's the ceremonial stage upon which our most important visitors are received, and then about 500,000 people slept through, so you imagine 500,000 people you're going through your house. And all of that takes place, but it's very important to us for people to be able to see up close and personal and walk through these spaces where Lincoln walked and Roosevelt worked. So talk about the book you have, share the book, because it's really historic, and, and the app that you have with Amazon. I think this is a Sure, great... this is a, a, a real prize uh, from our uh, office. Uh, Mrs. Kennedy wanted us to teach and tell the stories of White House history. And so the first thing she wanted was a guidebook because the White House never had one. So in 1962, she published this guidebook or with us, and this is her actual copy. Her hands held this book. This was her copy of the book. Now we continue to update this. It's now in its 24th edition, and each new edition has the latest renovations and updates that the latest president has added. But it's now 2018. So books are great, but we want to be able to impart this information and experience to people not only around Washington who are going through the White House, but across the country and around the world. So this app that we've developed, you can get through WH Experience on the, at the App Store. You have three different tours. If you're walking through the White House, it tours are self-guided. So unless you know what you're looking at, you don't know what you're looking at. So you can hold up an image, you can see, it brings to life for you everything that you're looking at in every room. Two other types of tours. If you're outside the White House in President's Park, it will unpack and open the doors of these rooms for you virtually, so you can see the Oval Office and the Cabinet Room and the Blue Room and the Green Room. If you're around the world, there's a third tour experience, but the best part of it is empowered by Amazon uh, recognition technology, and it allows people to take a selfie and it analyzes that selfie against all presidential portraits and first lady portraits and the spatial 
features of your face and it'll tell you you're 47% Ronald Reagan or 27% Jackie Kennedy. And people have a lot of fun with that part of the app. <laughs> That's yeah, awesome. Stuart, fascinating stuff. Uh, you know, it, it, when, when I go to a museum, a lot of times it's like, oh, the book was something you get on the way home because right. maybe you couldn't take photos or the book has beautiful photos. Can you speak a little bit about how the technology is making the tours a little bit more interactive? Sure, well we love books and we'll publish six hardbound books this year on the history of the White House and those are all available at our website, whitehousehistory.org. But the three facets of technology that we're adapting with Amazon it's the app that I've spoken about, and that is, uh, has the fun gamification element of the uh, portrait analysis, but it also takes you in a deeper depth in each room, even the, more so than the book does. And we can update it for seasons, like we'll update it for the fall garden tour, we'll update it for the Christmas decorations, we'll update it for the Easter egg roll. But another part of the partnership is our digital library. We have tens of thousands of images of the White House that have literally been in a domestic freezer, frozen, for decades. And with AWS, we're unpacking those and digitizing them, and it's like bringing history to life for the first time. We're seeing photographs of Kennedy, Johnson, other presidents that haven't been seen by anybody in decades. And those are becoming available through our uh, digital library. And then third, we're launching here a chatbot so that through Alex and Poly technology, AWS technology, you'll be able to go to Alexa and ask questions about White House history and the spaces in the White House, or keyboard to our website and ask those questions as well. It's open up a lot of windows to the young folks in education it is. too. It's like, just you're one command away, hey Alexa. It takes a one-dimensional picture off of a page or off of a website, and it gives the user an experience of touring the White House. Talk about your vision around modernization. We just had a conversation with the CEO of Telos when we talked about government has a moderniz modernization approach and I think Obama really put the stake in the ground on that, President Obama, former President Obama. And that means something to a lot of people. For you guys, it's, it's extending it forward. But your digital strategy is about bringing the experience digitally online from, from historical documents and then right. going forward. So, is there plans in the future for like virtual reality and augmented reality where I can That's pop right. in? And We're looking to evolve the app and to do other things that are AR and VR focused and keep it cool and fun. But we're here in a space that's all about the future. I was talking with this wonderful talk last night about hundreds of thousands of people living and working on Mars, and that's really great. But we all need to remember our history and our roots. History applies to no matter, no matter what field you're in. Medicine, law, technology, knowing your history, knowing the history of this house and what it means to our country. There are billions of people around the world that know what this symbol means, this White House, and those are billions of people who will never come to our country, certainly never visit the White House. Most of them won't even meet an American, but through this app, they'll be able to go into the doors of the White House and understand it more fully You're than they've ever had before. building community around it too, is there any online social component, you guys looking at around that at all? All of this is just launched, and so we okay. do want to build some interactive, because it's important for us to know who these people are. One simple thing we're doing with that now is we're asking people to socially post and tag us on these comparative pictures they take with presidents and first ladies. So there's been some fun from that. All right, so, so Stuart, uh, one of the things I found interesting is your association, about 50 people, and what you were telling me off camera, there's not a single really IT person inside there. So right. walk us through a little bit about how this partnership began, uh, you know, who helps you through all of these technical decisions, and uh, you know, how you do, I mean, some pretty, pretty fun tech. Uh, well, you know, unfortunately, a lot of historical organizations are a little dusty, or at least perceived to be that way. And so we want to be a first mover in this space and an influencer of our peer institutions. Later this summer, we're convening 200 presidential sites from around the country. Libraries, birthplaces, childhood homes. And we're going to share with them the experience that we've had with AWS. We'll partner or collaborate with them like we're already doing with some, like the Lincoln Library in Illinois, where we have a digitization partnership with them. So with us, it's about collaboration and partnership. We are content rich, but we are reach challenged. And a way to extend our reach and influence is through wonderful partnerships like AWS. And so that's what we're doing. Now another thing we get with AWS is we're not just hiring an IT vendor of some type. They know our mission, they appreciate our mission, and they support our mission. 
And that uh, Teresa Carlson was at the White House with us last Friday, and she had the app, and she was going through and looking at things. And it came to life for her in a new, real, and fresh way. And she'd been to the White House many times on business. That's great, great story. And the thing is, it's very inspirational, and getting these other historic sites online is interesting. It's a digital library. It's a digital version, so super, super good. Content rich, reach challenge. I love that line. What else uh, is going on? Who funds you guys? How do you make it all work? Who pays the bills? You guys do donations? Is it philanthropy? Is we do it traditional philanthropy, and we'd okay. love for anybody to, to engage us in that. Uh, during the Reagan administration in 1981, someone had the brilliant idea. Now, if I'd been in the room when this happened, I probably would have said, okay, fine, do that. But thank goodness we did, because it has funded our organization all these years, and that's the creation of the annual official White House Christmas ornament and we feature a different president each year sequentially, so we don't have to make a political decision. <laughs> this year it's Harry Truman. Yep. And that ornament comes with a booklet and it has elements of that ornament that talk about those years in the White House. So with Truman, it's, it depicts the South Balcony, the Truman Balcony on the South Portico, the Truman Seal that eventually evolved into being the presidential seal. On the reverse is the Truman Blue Room of the White House. So these are teaching tools. And we sell a lot of those ornaments. People collect them. Once you start, you can't stop. It's a very traditional thing, but it's an important thing, and that's been the lifeblood. But we have, uh, actually, Teresa Carlson chairs our National Council on White House History. John Wood, that you just had on before me, is on our National Council on White House History. These are some of our uh, strong financial supporters who believe in our mission and who are collaborating with us on, in innovative ways. And it's great to have them involved with us because it brings life in new ways rather than just paper books. Yeah, Stuart, I had a non-technical question for you. Sure. Core to your mission, you also obtain pieces. And I'm, I'm, I'm curious, uh, you know, what's the mission these days? What, what sort of things are, are you pulling in? Uh, it, well, there's a curator in the White House that's a government employee that actually manages the White House collection. Before President and Mrs. Kennedy came into the White House, a new president could come in and get rid of anything they wanted to, and they did. That's how they funded the new, by getting selling the old. So that's not the case anymore. With the Kennedys, there's a White House collection, like a museum, and so we'll work with the White House and take their requests. For example, a recent acquisition was an Alma Thomas painting. Alma Thomas is the first African-American female artist to have a work in the White House collection, a very important addition. And to have a work in the White House collection, the artist should be deceased and the work over 25 years old. So we're getting more into the 21st century. The great artists of the American 20th century are becoming eligible to have their works in the collection. Stuart, thanks so much for coming on theCUBE and sharing your story and um, good to see you speak. And thanks for the ornament sure. you got last night. Sure. And, uh, Check it well, out. Now you've teased this ornament. Everybody's going to want and need one now. So, right, whitehousehistory.org. And, and, and John, come on, you have to tell the audience who you got face match recognition with uh, on the app. So who did you get face matched with? So I, I, I think I'm 20% James Buchanan, but you got the Gipper. <laughs> I'm Ronald Reagan. That's Supply great. side economics, trickle down, what do they call voodoo economics was his famous uh, That's thing? That's great. I don't he, he, <laughs> he, he had good hair, John. <laughs> well, you know, our job is to be storytellers, and thank you for letting us share a little yeah. bit of our story here today, and we'd love to make new friends through our social channels, and I hope everyone will download this app and enjoy visiting. We the will help with the reach side and, and promote your mission. Love the mission, love history, love the digital convergence while preserving and maintaining the, the great history of the United States, and a great new tool. It's going to Amazon open up. gave us these stickers for everybody who had downloaded the app, so I'm officially giving you your downloaded app sticker to wear. <laughs> Stu, this is yours. You Thanks so much. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Really Thanks so much. It. Great right. mission. Check Pleasure out the Stuart. White House. Um, Historical Association. Historicalassociation.org. That's the end. Get the White House app, which is W. H, H experience. experience on the App Store. That's right. Okay, thanks so much. We'll be back with more. Stay with us. Live coverage here at AWS, Amazon Web Services, Public Sector Summit. We'll be right back. <laughs>